great day, attractive thinker. Welcome back to another episode of Beyond the Break. Give yourself a fighting chance. We are so delighted to be here with you, Dr. Tony Hatton here, your Break the Cycle specialist at the Attractive Thinker Guru. Oh my goodness, we are so excited to be here with you because we bring answers. And I thank you so much, our subscribers, our followers. I thank you so much for sharing these episodes with your circle of influence because it's making a difference. It's showing people how to live life beyond a break, be it a heartbreak or a success, because we have to learn how to live in between successes. You know, there's a break after you reach this goal, then there's a break and then you are, are, are working towards accomplishing the next goal. But how do you live from success to success? There's a gap there. And sometimes we can get lost you know, when, when you're in a big production, the adrenaline is high, your energy is high. And once that's over, what, what do you do with all of that power, all of that excitement and anticipation? How do you live now? This is why Beyond the Brick exists. Welcome my co-host to Shep Bradshaw, the visual encourager to Beyond the Brick. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Mindset Monday. It's a yes. great day to be alive. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. And I'm so excited to be here with you to share, to share space and time again. We're going to crack this wide open because we understand that our listeners need to understand what trust really is. You know, how to trust yes. beyond the break. How, you know, you experienced a break, be it a break in a success or a heartbreak or a disappointment, something that you didn't even anticipate. How do you trust that break? You know, trust, when I looked up the word trust, and I want to write, I want to read exactly what the definition of trust is. It says a reliance on the integrity, strength, ability, and surety of a person or thing. And then at the end of that, that, that phrase, it said confidence. Trust is confidence. So let's think about trust for a moment so you can get a big picture of what trust really is. Because at some point in our lives, we all have trusted something or someone. So it's not like we don't know what trust yeah. is. We know what trust is. A confident reliance on something and you know trust is a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing when you when you can trust something or someone there's no doubt there there's no fear there there's no hesitation mm -hmm. so let, uh, let me break this down a little bit more see it's easy to uh, start out with the definition of trust. So you can understand that, but let's go a little bit deeper. Sometimes in order to understand what something means, you have to understand what it means when you don't have it. What, what does it feel like when you don't have trust, when you can't trust somebody or something? You, you're always watching your back. You're always second guessing. You're always doubting. In the back of your mind, you might ask them to do something. But in the back of your mind, you're, you're, you're not sure that they're going to do it. You're not sure that they're going to follow through. You know, um, not being able to trust something or someone, you still feel like you have to have your hand in it. It's like one foot in the door, one foot out of the door. You want to hand over the responsibility, but you're, you know you're handing it over to someone who is not trustworthy, not worthy of trust. Trust is valuable. And when we think about not worthy of trust, you you don't the, the thing that you're putting putting your trust in is not as valuable as the trust that you're giving it because trust has a high value and you don't just trust people at the drop of a hat people have to earn your trust see trust is not something you just give away freely you don't just randomly trust people in things so when you experience a, 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 a person or a thing that you cannot trust, it's not a good feeling. It, it's, you, you can't turn around and walk away and have that confident knowing that wh whatever you guys agreed upon is going to be handled. 
that that person is capable. So that's what it looks like and feels like when you don't have trust. But when you do have trust, you can walk away, you can stand there and agree on something and you can walk away and know that it's going to be taken care of. And in the back of your mind, you're not worrying, you're not thinking about your, your mind, your energetic space is not consumed with what they're doing because you know they can handle it because you know they're going to come through. You're not over here thinking about what you're doing and what they're doing. See, I'm showing these scenarios because a lot of times we don't know the cost. We don't know what it is costing us to not be able to trust a thing or a person, a person or a thing. But when we talk about trust beyond the break, we're talking about trusting that breaking process. Tishette, talk to us more about that. You know, you gave me so much to go on right now. So when we're talking about trusting beyond the break, the thing that came to mind, this is something you said early on when we first started this session. You said, this is a production. You said the word production. Our life is a production. We are producing. So you are trusting the process of the production. What is God producing in you, right? And then when you talked about what trusting is not, I started thinking about what does it feel like to not be trusted? Because when you look at when you're not trusting something versus when someone's not trusting you, that's a, 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 a disconnect. You know, when you think about not trusting, that is a disconnect between you and the thing that you're supposed to trust, the, 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 the person, the place, the thing, the it. And then when you trust in, when you're trusting something, you are like you said, having confidence that that person is going to take care of whatever you're trusting it with. So when we understand that our life is a production, a full-fledged production, and that production uh, produces gifts, blessings, that production produces characteristic, it produces so many greatness in us, and, and our spirit becomes almost like our baby. You know how m many times we talk about we're giving birth to things. We talk about how um, we are pushing, you know, you might be in a time of labor where you might feel pain and you're pushing. When you are in labor, you are trusting that process. It's easier to trust that process because we have done it or seen it done a million times that we know, okay, contractions come, contractions hurt, contractions go back. We push, you know, rest, and then the baby comes out, boop, and you got a baby. But when that baby is born, when that production is, is taking place in your life, you're not going to just trust anybody with that baby. You're going to trust something you have confident in. So when you're confident in something, you are pretty much knowing that they are going to do what they said they're going to do, like you just said, Dr. Tony. And so a lot of us, another thing you said, you said we all have trusted in something. There's how many of us, walk across the floor trusting that it was built the way that it was supposed to be built, trusting that the men who put the wood together, put the nails in the way they were supposed to, they did the glue the way they were supposed to, is sitting on top of the other wood the way it's supposed to, you know, they built the foundation. We run, jump, dance, have a nerve to chase, you know, playing hide and seek across the floor. We hear a creak in the floor and we will still run and jump on it as if that creek is not there. That's the kind of trust we have to have in beyond the break. So beyond the break, when we talk about beyond the break, that life that is, um, is, is, is at the end of that tunnel, that light that you are seeking after, you know, after you had that heartbreak, or well, like Dr. Tony said, that break in success, there's a light that is produced out of the break. So when you trust the break, you're trusting the birthing process of the production that's being put in you. So when you're trusting like you trust in the floor, you're not questioning every little creek. You're just confidently knowing that at the end of the day, his will will be done. You're trusting that at the end of the day, success is yours. You're trusting that at the end of the day, favorable plus favorable is favorable, favorable plus unfavorable is still favorable. You're trusting that it is still favorable and it will work out for your good. We always say all things work out for the good. We're not just saying this thing, we are living this. We are seeing 
that everything that you have gone through, even that thing you thought you wouldn't make it through, that thing that you thought like broke you, that made you, tore you into pieces. But that thing that tore you into pieces exposed the beauty in you, exposed the treasure in you. When you trust that, you know that at the end of it, it's all going to work out for now. It's all working out for the good. It is lining you up for a time such as now for you to shine and sprout like the flower, the rose you are, so that you can, you, you can then sh share seeds as well. You plant seeds other places. So listen, if you're listening to us every week, again, we thank you. And if, this has had, if this, these sessions have been a blessing in your life, share this with somebody. It is a seed. Even if you don't think they'll understand it, you want to trust that process. Share it because when time goes by and experiences uh, reach them, they might be able to understand it at a later date and time or now. You just never know. You just got to trust the process. A seed is going to do what a seed is going to do, and that is sprout. So uh, it's up to us to understand the production of the sprouting of that seed, and we got to nourish it, cherish it, and protect it at all costs. You can't leave your production up to just anybody. But you know who you can lead your production up to. You know who you can trust with. And listen, there are some people out here who has an issue with trusting. At some point, you're going to have to trust somebody in order not to walk this life alone. At some point, you got to work what's in you to figure out why is it a problem trusting people? Is it because you keep coming up against the same spirit that keep leading you to believe that nobody can be trusted? Is it that you yourself might not feel like you can be trusted? Or have you not reached the, the mindset that allows you to say, okay, this is a spiritual thing. This is not a physical thing. And if I can understand what's going on in the spirit and look behind that thing that happened to me and understand that it happened for me, I can trust that even this is working out for my good. Even this matters now. Even this is creating something good for me. At the end of the day, I am going to win. And that's what Beyond the Break is, is knowing that no matter what broke you, you know you were created to win. We wasn't created to struggle. We wasn't created to suffer. We wasn't created to keep falling through the crack. We wasn't created to get lost in the crowd. We wasn't created to just keep having lack and losing all the time. We wasn't created to be a woe is me, to play victim. We wasn't created to that. We was created to be more than conquerors. We was, we was created to, be, to, to, to win. We were created to, to be fruitful and multiply. You multiply your business. You multiply your family. You multiply whatever you touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. It's a possibility, but you have to believe it first. And the way to believe it is to trust beyond that break. Because that beyond that break, no matter what, it exposed the greatness in you. Dr. Tony, that, that you gave me so much um, early on with this. I just got so fired up understanding that we are a production. You are the, um, a lot of us think we're the background dancers and the, 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 the secondary cast. No, you know, <laughs> you are the star the of the cast. show. The lead The cast. leader, mm -hmm. the lead cast. You are the lead cast. You are not the understudy. Yeah. You are not the background dancer. You're you belong the in the forefront. That's and right. listen, even if you like working in the background, the ones that's building stuff, the ones that help the production, listen, you are too one of the front runners because you matter. The work you put through matter. As long as you're doing what you're doing in joy and in love, do it to the best of your ability. You deserve to be out here, to be nourished, to be cherished, and you deserve to be trusted. So we got to start somewhere and beyond the break. That's where we start. Back to you, Dr. Tony. Awesome. Tashette, you said something that was the golden ticket and I wrote it down. But before I get into that, I have something I want to share. Attractive thinkers, I encourage you right now to click that subscribe button because you don't want to miss another episode of Beyond the Break, Give Yourself a Fighting Chance. And I also want to encourage you to click the like button, click the share button, post it on your social media pages because you never know who needs to hear what you're hearing right now. And it can make a world of difference in their lives. I want to highlight what you said to Chef. 
you said a life is produced out of the break. And when you said that, it was like that summed up everything. A life is produced out of the break. So why trust beyond the break? Why trust the break? Because a life I want you to understand that a lot of times to shut when we experience these breaks in our lives, we think that that's the end. We think that's it. Or we think that that's the, the worst thing that can happen. Or we feel lost in a break. We feel lost, be it a heartbreak or a break in a success. We feel lost. We're like, okay, now who am I? Like, where do I go from here? What do I do now? what is life now? Where's the meaning? I had a grip, you know, a while ago. I had a grip and this was so unexpected. I didn't expect this to happen. And let me share something with you. A break doesn't necessarily mean a heartbreak or a break in a success. We experience breaks even as children, you know, um, going from um, from your, your parents' home into pre-kindergarten. That's a break. You know, and sometimes children can handle that break and sometimes they can't. And a lot of times the parents can't handle that break. I'm one of them. I understand what that break is about. And then you experience another break uh, from pre-K and kindergarten to elementary school. And then from elementary school between elementary school and middle school, there's another break. You're, you're changing and you're growing and you're evolving and you're entering into another space. Whereas you, you, you know, the young people may not say it, but they feel it like, who am I? Where am I going? Everything's new and different. I want to bring my friends from Kent, from elementary school oh, up into high school. You know, between middle school and high school, there's another break. Then between high school and into reality, into real life or into college or into uh, whatever it is that you do after high school, there's a break there. And I'm, I'm, I'm saying this because I want us to understand something. When we graduate high school, and let's say we go into college, college is a, a whole nother community. It's a life, it's a lifestyle. And when you graduate from college, you experience that break again. Just like when you graduate from high school. When you graduate from high school, you're kind of excited. You know, you have your college picked out or whatever you wanna do with your life. But when you go to college and you graduate, there's a, there's a lostness that comes sometimes after you graduate, even if you know what you want to do afterwards because you've created a life while you were in college. You created a lifestyle. You created a family, a community. You created a routine, a certain way of doing things and you got comfortable with that. And then when you walk across the stage and you graduate, you're out into the world and it's different and it's new and it's unfamiliar. And it calls for trust trusting beyond that break, that, that, that lifestyle. So really a break is because you said to shed a life is pr produced out of the break. The break is you leaving who you used to be and embracing who you're going to be that break. And we have to trust that. See, if we can, take our eyes off of the break because so let's let's use heartbreak for example and i know that's a process it, it doesn't happen overnight but as attractive thinkers we go through heartbreak differently we understand that it's a process and that it's not going to feel it's not going to feel like this all of the time and it's not going to be like this all of the time so we trust the process why because we know who we are you remember to share we talked about that years ago establishing who you are before life knocks on your door that's key when you establish who you are you have the goods and you have the tools and you have the resources to handle life's challenges and obstacles and unexpected experiences but when you don't know who you are now life is knocking on your door handing you something that you didn't even expect or didn't even ask for and you don't even know who you are in the process so because you don't know who you are nine times out of ten you're looking at this this thing that life is handing you, this break in your current lifestyle as um, a negative, as an obstacle, as a challenge, as the end of you, as, as this is it, as I, I can't do anymore, I'm done. 
How many times have we said that to ourselves, I'm done, and we really weren't done. We were just done with that, that, that thing that was presented to us. We feel like it broke us down to the core, and we had nothing left. But trusting beyond the break means trust that you're becoming new. Trust that this break was necessary to give birth to a greater version of yourself. The break gives birth to greatness, a greater version of yourself. So when you have that kind of perspective, you view the break differently, it gives you uh, the, 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 the fortitude that you need. It gives you the comfort and the encouragement that you need to go through that breaking process because you know something great is being born. You know, another life is coming out of that break. So when you don't have that kind of perception, you, you don't make as much progress. Sometimes we hold our progress captive and hostage and things take longer than they should because we're in the way. We, we don't have the vision. We're not tapping into our power. Our, we're not using our mental tools. We have the wrong perspective. See, we can, we can um, lengthen our process and make it longer, make it take longer than it should when we don't have the right perspective. So it is critical as an attractive thinker when you're going through something like a break, be it a heartbreak or a success, to know who you are. So let's shift back to success. Let's talk about the break between successes. You know who you are. You know you're fantastic and amazing. You know this success isn't the last success. It wasn't the first and it won't be the last. You know another success is coming so you don't spiral down all the way back down to you know, the, the bottom. You, 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 you put your tools in place. You get your discipline back and you tighten up on some things. You get some clarity and you celebrate yourself and you celebrate where you're going and you keep putting forth the effort and keep looking forward until you walk right into the next success. And over time to shed, as this happens over and over and over, we get used to the process. But how is trust developed? Me personally, when I think about that question, I think trust is developed two ways. Some, you, somebody earned the, your trust. Remember, your trust is valuable. You don't just give it to anybody. Someone earns your trust by you uh, paying attention to their behavior, paying attention to their character, paying attention to uh, their skills, whether they follow through, whether they're accountable, whether they're responsible, whether you can depend on them, whether they're reliable. You pay attention to all of that. And over time, they've earned your trust. Another way trust is developed by just deciding to trust. Because there are, there are going to be, you know, come times in our lives, whereas we don't have time for something or someone to earn our trust. You know, as attractive thinkers, we're fire, we have this fiery personality. We're risk takers. We can hear the spirit and we act. And when you're like that, you have to just choose to trust. When the spirit tells you to do something, you, you may not have ever done it before, that's when that type of trust that, that, that needs to kick in, that type of trust where you just have to decide, say, you know, I know, see, that's a goal. it goes back to you knowing who you are. You say to yourself, wait a minute, I know the spirit. I know what it feels like, what it sounds like for the spirit to say something to me. And because I trust the spirit, I have developed a relationship with the spirit I can trust what the spirit is leading me to do. So I don't have to have done it before. I can make the decision to trust. And then you trust and then you go and then you do. So trust is either earned or developed by a decision. I want you to understand that. And, and with that discernment that we have as attractive thinkers, we have to use the discernment to decide which one uh, which type of trust are we using? Are we using the decision-making trust or are we using the trust that something or someone has earned from us? Back to you, Tashette. When you talked about, um, and I'm, I'm smiling because my spirit is revved up. When you talked about that discernment and you said sometimes we don't have time to wait until somebody builds enough time for that trust. 
Do you know how long we would make this process stretch out if we waited for everybody to earn our trust? How many of you, when you're planting food, right? And you go out there, you plant them seeds and you keep digging in the dirt. Did you grow yet? Did you grow yet? Did you crack yet? Where, where you at? Where's the sun? Where's the water? Did you do this yet? Is it going to grow? Is it going to grow? Is it going to grow? You're not doing anything else but getting in the way of the process. You know, and so when you when you come upon, if, let's say you're buying a house, do you have time to go to the builder and say, let me see every floor you've built to see if it's okay to walk in this floor? You know, I need to see if all the nails that you have done, you know, is 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 fit and snug and never had a crack for me to trust to walk on this floor. You see how it's so easy to trust things in the physical, but when it comes to things that are not physical, things that, you know, are, are in our spirit, we have a hard time with it. So trusting is a spiritual journey. Trusting, like you said, takes discernment, a spiritual journey. You know, it, 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 it does a lot of times takes the deciding. You couldn't be more, you know, on point with that because when we are trusting, we're saying in our spirit, okay, okay, it's going to happen the way it happened. I'm just going to believe in it. I'm just going to look for it. And that right there is how we get to faith. You know, that's where we get, that's where we build our faith. Faith and trust go hand in hand. It's hard to have faith in something you don't have trust in. It's hard to believe in something you have to question every five minutes. Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Did you do it? Sometimes I feel like we have to be okay with not having things all, not having all the ducks lined up in a row not being such a perfectionist, not being always in total control. Sometimes you have to lose control in order to get somewhere you want to go. Because there are some people that you might not know that can take you further. They might have access to resources you don't have. You're going to trust that, that where they're sending you is good. You go to uh, um, inquire about something and this person says, okay, go to this business and tell them I sent you. Well, who is the person that sent you that you just met? You got to trust that that name will carry you far when you go to where they sent you in order for you to get access to the resources you wouldn't normally have on your own. So having that trust is crucial because you can get in the way questioning everything. And let me, let me, let me, let me just say this. Sometimes it's good to question because in all by getting, get understanding by every means, follow wisdom at all costs, right? You want to get that understanding. You want to make sure you get knowledge as much as you can. People perish for lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, and you want to be able to learn as much more as you can. So yes, you want to question something, but there's some stuff you're going to have to trust. And it's going to take discernment to understand when to go on your knowing, when to go on your trusting, when to decide to just take a chance. And here's the thing. And or we talked about on so many shows, zip lining, and we can always go back into that because that zip lining incident requires us to trust. For us to trust that that, that cable we're holding on to is going to hold us, not going to drop us in midair, and we have to trust enough to go to get across, to even make that decision that we're going to jump takes trust. You know, walking up there, again, is not easy. Trusting is not easy, but... You have to be willing to do it in order to get further than what you have, than what you needed to do. And like zip lining, in order for us to get from this platform to that platform, we had to trust the production, trust what's holding us, trust the process, trust the break. And you talked about break with school, Dr. Tony. And when you were talking about um, um, the break with school and you were talking about how sometimes it's not a break in success, and sometimes it's not heartbreak. Sometimes um, break is necessary to give you rest. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it is to give you rest, complete rest, because sometimes we don't slow down and, and get the next instruction until the breaks happen. Sometimes we don't even know what's going on or assess what's going on until a break happens. We're mindlessly walking through life. See, that's the thing, attractive thinkers, we have to get, and we, I always say this, we have to be intentional. We cannot get used to mindlessly walking through life. You want to show up in your day as much as possible. You want to trust that you're going to have a great day. Dr. Tony, I noticed 
that when um, I talk to you, sometimes you'll say, great day, um, fire and power to Shep Bradshaw. I trust that your day is well. And that trust goes a long way. And we have to trust the process in our day. We can't get caught up in every little nook and cranny of our day trying to micromanage the day. Sometimes you got to let go, let God. You got to let go of having to have everything in order for you to move, for you to jump, having all your ducks in a row for you to make a decision. You don't have time for that. You got to deserve that now is the time to make a decision. Now is the time to jump. You got to trust that everything is going to hold you and glide your way across and enjoy yourself in the process. So when we discover, when we are coming upon a break, a break in the success, a heartbreak, a rest, or where we are interrupted, because when I looked up the word break, it, it said something about being interrupted. You know, a show interrupted. When they say, we'll be right back after this break, that means there was an interruption in a regularly scheduled program to bring you something that they thought you might like, want, or need in case you need to add it to your lifestyle. So when a break happens, pay attention to that interruption. That interruption is sponsored. When that sponsor is saying, hey, you might need this, you might want this, here's some jewels and some gems you might want to take along the way. After your rest, let's come back, let's go strong, because again, we're victors. We're going to always come back from the break stronger than we were. We're going to always come back as mosaic tile. If you break us, I'm going to be more beautiful. And you know, Dr. Tony, I love that background you got going on with the abstract background because it shows the beauty of a break. It's not all whole. It's the beauty of a break. You got many different colors. You know, you got triangles, different places, but you see the interruption and in how it went together for the good to give you that beautiful background you got going on back there. So this is just staring me all up. But let's discern today. The break is a good thing. It was an interruption. It was necessary to expose the good fruit that's in me. The seeds that I planted, I'm gonna trust the process that it's gonna sprout and give me and allow me to have the production and the harvest that I called for. I'm gonna trust the process. Everything that's attached to me is hold me. Everywhere I tread my foot upon, I'm going to receive that. That is the promise. The promises of God is yes and amen. And when we trust and believe that, we will receive it. You best believe it. Back to you, Dr. Tony. Awesome, awesome, attractive thinkers. I know, I don't even have to tell you, you've been watching these episodes of Beyond the Break long enough to know that you bring your attractive thinker notebook hand and have it handy to take down these notes and capture these gems that you that we're dropping along the way that was powerful to shed and while you were talking you know i was thinking when you started talking about break you know i was thinking about that and i was taking some notes and break means to reduce to pieces or fragments to reduce to pieces or fragments. That's one definition. And then you started talking about my background and I, you can see the pieces and the fragments and you can see how also those pieces and fragments have been put together in such a way to make something beautiful that somebody can use. Your break, that new life that's being birthed through your break is positioning you so that you can be used on a different level, in a different capacity in a greater way so the break has a purpose trust beyond the break trust what's going to happen beyond the break and trust means having that confident that that assurance that 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 knowing that it's going to be okay and 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 knowing that in order for you to know that it comes from knowing who you are like Tashet said, we were not designed to struggle. We were designed to win. We were, we were blessed to be fruitful and multiply and subdue and increase. You know, God has good thoughts of us, plans to prosper us, give us hope in the future, not to harm you. So when you think about that, you, you have to develop this certain level of trust in order for that, that blessing to be manifested in your life, in order to reach the other side of the break, the fruit from the break because the break has a purpose so when, when Tashet was talking about the break in these pieces and these parts and trusting we want to be able to trust what's going to happen beyond the break and while you were talking to Shet, i i was thinking about how we you said lose control and when you said that i thought about how when we go swimming 
um, if you're if you want to float, you lay on your back and you let your legs and your hands relax. And I remember trying to do that. You know, someone was somebody was teaching me how to do it for the first time. And I, I, the more I took control, the more I sunk. The more I tried to control True. me floating on the water, the more I sunk, the more I lost control. So think about that. The more you try to control, the more you lose control. It wasn't until I let go. And I'm, I'm going to share something with you. The letting go starts in the heart. It starts in the spirit. It doesn't start in the arms and the legs and the hands and the feet. The letting go starts upper. It starts in the chest area, uh, a, a sigh, a, a, a relief, a, a deep breath, a letting go, you know, ex exhaling, whatever that might be. But it starts in the heart. I remember my kids took me skydiving for my birthday. This was like maybe two years ago. And, you know, I had the suit on. I was in the room where all the wind was blowing and the wind was blowing so strong. The guy had, I mean, it was coming up from the floor. The guy had to hold on to me so I wouldn't just be blowing all over and hitting the walls and everything. But I was determined, this is my first time skydiving and I was determined that I was gonna figure it out in a little bit of amount of time that I had. And when the air came up from the floor, I'm, you know, elevated above the air and he's holding my left arm so I won't fly away. But in just that short period of time, because I made up my mind, see, in order to trust, you have to have a made up mind, a mind that does not waver, a mind that does not second guess, a mind that doesn't make a decision and then go back on the decision, a made up mind, just set it and forget it. And I had made up my mind that I was going to figure it out. You know, I was going to make the most of this the small amount of time that I had in this room with this greatness, that power, that air, that force, that was greatness. And before I, I went in, he, he did this little show, you know, he went in and I mean, he's, you know, floated up to the top and glided down to the bottom. And then he, he was manipulating the air. The air did not change. He knew how to handle and manipulate the air to, to do what he wanted to do. The air didn't change. It was constant. And because it was constant, he could trust it. So I'm over, I'm over top of the air. And I mean, that air was so forceful that you have to take all of your jewelry off and you have to take your eyeglasses off. You have those on. You had these goggles on and you couldn't have anything loose on your person that could blow away. That's how strong the air was. And he's holding my left arm. And while I'm, you know, the air is just beating me in the chest, in the face, in the abdomen. And, but I'm up, I'm above the air, right? I'm levitating. So while he's holding my left arm, um, I'm trying to relax and let go and, you know, let, let go of control. And every time I try, I'm either going to the right or to the left. And I heard a voice say, you let go from the inside. And when I let mm -hmm. go from mm -hmm. the inside, the guy, I heard the guy say, oh my God, he said, you got it. It was just that quick. Letting go happens inside. I made the decision to trust. And I'm going to tell you right now, I felt my two persons. I felt two bodies, my outer body. I felt the wind hitting up against my outer body, but there, I felt uh, there was another inner being that had arms and legs and it, it was inside of me. And when I let that person go, that's when I began to float on air. And it was incredible. It was my first experience, but because I was determined because I had already made up my mind that I was going to trust this process and I was going to get something out of it. If he could float on air, so can I. So we're here to encourage you, attractive thinker, to trust beyond the break. It will not kill you. It will not kill you, but it will reveal, it will present an opportunity to you for you to learn how to live on another level, for you to learn how to release a greater version of yourself, to give birth to yourself, give birth to yourself, give birth to yourself. You are endless and there is no end to you. 
all that you've accomplished up to this point is nothing compared to what you're capable of. But you have to trust beyond the break. Tashette, tell our audience how they can get in touch with you. But I know before you do that, I know you have something to say. I know you have something to say. <laughs> I, I say, you know what? We, we, we need to do a part two of this because yeah. this fire <laughs> from that story you just told, we can't just go past that. We're going to have to do a part two. So you guys got to stay tuned and make sure you subscribe so that you can get notes, uh, noted for part two because yeah. this is going to be fire. We got, we got to break that story down. You can't just leave it like that. You know? <laughs> so, so, but yes, you guys, um, thank you so much for tuning in today. You can find me on my website at www.visualencouragement.com. We provide mental support for movers and shakers, trailblazers, pathfinders, and groundbreakers, people who desire to move mountains but just need some help yeah. to lift the heaviness so that they can create a new vision for themselves. Go to my contact us page, Put your information and let me know how I can uplift you, inspire you, and ignite you so that you can live a life of fulfillment beyond the break. Again, that's www.visualencouragement.com, and I'll see you soon. Awesome. Dr. Tony Hatton here, your Break the Cycle Specialist at TheAttractiveThinker.Guru. If you need clarity in trusting beyond the break, I want you to book your clarity session at www.clarity.TheAttractiveThinker.Guru. That's G-U-R-U. -U, clarity.TheAttractiveThinker.Guru. Book your clarity section, session so I can shine the light. That's it. The only difference is how you work in the dark, trying to accomplish in the dark. And then when someone turns the light on now, you can see everything. You can see where you're going and it's easier to accomplish when the light is on. So book your clarity session so that you can develop that trust in yourself, in the process, in the goals that you have, because you're giving birth to a greater version of yourself. You hear me say it all of the time. My life's work, that's to make your life better. Remember. It is not what you're going through. It's how you're feeling it. Think attractively. And we'll see you soon. <laughs>